Well, some North Texans who have been without power since yesterday morning because of the storms may not have it restored until Friday, maybe even Saturday. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. There are still more than 175,000 homes and businesses in Collin, Dallas, Denton, and Tarrant counties without power. And the city of Dallas says debris cleanup from the storms could take a month. Fox Force Peyton Yeager joining us with more on the effort to restore power and the people who are having to deal with it. Peyton. Stephen, as we were driving around uh, East Dallas today, we saw power lines still in the middle of the road and still taped off uh, for safety. Now, Encore says these restoration efforts are not simple, and this widespread damage is really causing them to slow down and causing them to call more linemen in. Therefore, the relief not likely until at least Friday. Yesterday, today, it's just, it's getting hot, and it's hard to sleep. Philip Mean says he's still in the dark on how many more sleeps until his power comes back on in East Dallas and how long his groceries will last, making multiple trips to get ice. I need to get more if they still have it. Yeah. Everybody's loading up, of course. Wednesday, Encore announced the majority of restoration will be complete by Friday evening. Harder hit areas will likely have to wait until Saturday. However, Encore didn't designate which Dallas areas will have to wait longer. This part of East Dallas is going to be without power for a while. East Dallas, likely one of them. From Little Forest Hills to Casa Linda Estates, multiple neighborhoods are without electricity. Near North Buckner Boulevard and Ferguson, homes were taped off due to downed power lines entangled in trees. Encore says widespread damage has blocked progress for its crews. Access still remains a major issue that we're facing. A lot of um, vegetation management crews are arriving in the area. The Dallas Office of Emergency Management is asking residents to move all debris curbside. But due to the significant amount from Tuesday morning's storm, city officials say it could take up to at least a month for all piles to be picked up. Uh -oh. Meanwhile, no power means a pool day for three-year-old Charlie. Her mom, Katie Rodriguez, is trying to pass the time. I work in Irving, so we actually went to my school. Our district is closed, so we went to my school. We charged everything. Um, like all the phones, iPads, um, and then um, we went to Target, Lowe's, and then at Home Depot with some other customers. We found our fans that are battery operated. And in the press conference today for the city of Dallas, Encore says it has more than 7,000 personnel working around the clock, uh, and that number will grow. Again, they called in uh, more manpower from half a dozen states to help as well. Steve and Heather, back to you. Lots of work to do. Peyton, thank you. So Dallas County still has the most power outages. That's according to Encore. Collin County has the second, about 17,000, second highest. Thousands are still, though, without power in Rockwall and Kaufman counties as well.